Hello, my name is Anna Evans, and I'm a postdoc student in the School of Biology, and I have chosen to talk about Helen B. Tazik for my Women in STEM scholarship. I have chosen to write about her because I believe she has impacted my life in a very positive way, and I also believe that she is a pioneer woman in medicine, specifically for her contributions to pediatric cardiology, specializing in congenital abnormalities. And it is said that she is the founder of pediatric cardiology in the U.S., which was awarded to her in 1986 after her death. Now, she has also received many other awards and achievements throughout her life, starting in 1944. She, Alfred Blaylock, and Vivian Thomas developed an operation to correct the congenital defects that caused anoxemia, or what is colloquially known as blue baby syndrome, related to the congenital condition called Tetralogy of Fallot. Shortly after this operation was developed called the Blaylock Tossing Shunting Procedure, she was able to save the lives of many blue babies by successfully performing this. In 1954, she received the Albert Alaska Award for her outstanding contributions to medicine. In 1959, she was the first woman to receive full professorship at Johns Hopkins University and also was able to receive their highest award. Five years later, in 1964, she received the Medal of Freedom from Lyndon B. Johnson. In the following year, in 1965, she was the first woman to become president of the American Heart Association. Not only did Dr. Tossig have the barrier of being a woman at this time, but she also struggled with dyslexia and lost all of her hearing and was only able to rely on lip reading and hearing aids after her time at university. Through this disability, she was able to develop a unique set of skills where she was able to distinguish the different heart rhythms just by touch, either abnormal or normal. I know that we were supposed to write about something inspired by recent events, but Helen B. Tossing is a woman in medicine that is very near and dear to my heart, both metaphorically and literally. I have received that pioneer life-changing congenital open heart surgery and when I was younger I didn't have tetralogy of fallot but I was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome which led me to have seven open heart surgeries throughout the course of my childhood. Helen B. Tossing has inspired me that even through our disabilities and even with our adversities the love that we have for science and medicine persists despite any barriers that we have been faced. And as a person who has specifically worked on children who have had cases similar to mine, I believe she is one of the reasons why I'm here today and one of the reasons why I would like to be a pioneer woman in medicine just like her. And I would like to give back to the STEM community that has given me so much, specifically given me my life. I hope to become a pioneer woman in medicine just like Helen B. Tossing. Thank you.